Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Knife Legion, and today let's play some World of Tanks. So this isn't War Thunder, this is World of Tanks. It's a very different kind of game, but at the same time, very much the same kind of game. We have tanks, we take them out, we shoot each other with them. It's all fun. Um, this is a random battle on the Fisherman's Bay map, and it's a standard gameplay. So capture the enemy's base or kill all their tanks. And I'm going to be honest, actually, I've not played on this map before. Uh, there's a lot going on behind me. But yes, we're taking out the British Matilda today, um, which is rather a nice vehicle, actually. Ooh, there's a lot of movement on my right. Can't really see much of it. Ooh, that guy might be able to see now. He's moving quite fast. Put a round out. Ooh. They are fast tanks are moving fast. Which is not going to be much good for me. I'm not sure how much use I can be in this position. Ooh, we've already lost someone. Are they tracked? They might be. Missed again. Gotta keep... Keep missing, unfortunately. Let's see. There we go. That was one good hit. Okay. So yes, this is World of Tanks. Um, I do have thoughts about this game. Mostly that is very good, but there are some things I don't like about it. Now, primarily one of those is that, as you can see, these hit bars. You can see the relative strength, uh, life, whatever you want to call it, of each vehicle as they're spotted. Um, let's see, can I see you? Can I shoot you? I'd like to shoot you. And yeah, I'm not a massive fan of that. In War Thunder, you don't really have an indicator of how badly damaged an enemy vehicle is, at least until you manage to shoot a penetrating hit the first time. Whereas this one, it's very easy to say, right, well, that guy's on 86%, let's all focus on him, kill him first, he'll be the easy kill. It's, um... I mean, definitely seems to work. World of Tanks is very popular. But, um... I just, yeah, I'm not sure if I really appreciate Enemy that. Hit. Good hit on him. He's now dead. Okay, let's uh, step out a bit. We are winning 8-4. This is quite a good match for us. Might also be a very quick match for us. Maybe a little too quick. Uh, now the Matilda. It's quite a nice tank. Got some decent armour. Not too badly shaped. The gun is a little unimpressive though. Good penetration, but not so much damage. But the biggest problem with this vehicle is that it is just slow. British tanks are never known for being terribly fast, but um, yeah, the Matilda took this to an extreme. It's one of the reasons I hung back in that tree line there, simply because, uh, you know, it would have taken me far too long to get up to the front line. Let the enemy come to me, is my thinking in this scenario. Watch a hay over this way. The enemy team, we're now winning 11-6, so this is definitely not the greatest match for the other side. Now these matches are timed to 15 minutes, which means they're definitely they're always faster than war, uh, war thunder tank, uh, tank battles are. This uh, coming in at 3 minutes 39 seconds now is a lot faster, however. But we haven't done too badly. We've got some good hits on people. Uh, they're down to two. They've got an artillery piece and a tank destroyer left. Let's see what we can see, shall we? We are crossing an open field. Not the place to be when there's a tank destroyer around, but there's a plenty of other players around us. Oh, there was their tank destroyer going down. So now it's just their artillery left at the back of the map, and this is going to be a very quick victory for us. We'll have to see at the end how we did in terms of points and damage caused. There we go, one German artillery piece. Already badly damaged, you can see there, down to 19%, and there we go, they are dead. Tuck ourselves into a bush. There we go. Classy. So, there we go. Not terrible. We uh, got almost 7,000 coin and 573 experience. We hit three enemy vehicles, we got the Panzer free twice. 109 total damage. Also hit two modules, ammo rack and a tr took out a track. 
uh, injured the commander on the BT-7 with a penetrating hit for 47 damage, and him hit the M8A1 for 56 damage, so not a terrible match. Not too terrible at all. So, that was a little bit of World of Tanks. Just something nice and quick for multiplayer Sundays. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, and feel free to subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you later. Bye!